What is good people? I'm up in the Gondi right now going up to track walk at Italy, Val de Sol. Here's a little sneak peek. I'm gonna just try to take you down real quick. Apparently, rumor has it they've done loads of work to the track, which um, looks to be true. Looking really good so far from what I've seen. Um, yeah, I'll just run you down quick. It's probably one of my favorite locations. I absolutely love it here in Italy, so mega track. Let's get into it. Ah, the good old black snake. Can you tell I'm a fan? Right, straight out of this awesome start. Look at that view. You can see that they've been doing work. This bit is pff, buttery smooth. Looking good. So you come out the first couple turns straight into this road gap. Big chilling one. Nice, like, fun section to start off the track. Probably going to get loads of braking bumps down there, but it's so smooth at the moment. Got that pin bit into a um, couple, like, bike parky turns. There's a double over there. This whole top section is just flat out. Super sick. A uh, nice little gap here, just fun, fun, all the way, like another big burn. You're absolutely cooking when you drop off that bit there, it's insane, so sick. Yep, the plunge, gotta try to keep off the brakes. Here you can see it's taped just like above the burn, but I mean, you used to hit this line anyway, to be honest, you get like a nice pump on the backside here, so. So here's like one of the first changes. This little off camber chicane bit looks really good actually. Um, obviously, it looks quite smooth at the moment, but it's quite soft, so I think it's going to get cut into real nice. The work that has gone into the track this year, oh my god, it's like a supercross track. Like they've they, they've driven over it with something like a like a supercross or a moto track. It's unreal. There's an outside and inside line here. They both feel like they could be really good depending on how this track cuts up. It's actually looking so so far really good. Pretty crazy low and high line here. That looks super hard to get onto, but looks like it could be good. That's the outside and inside from down below. Into a big, big little slab there. Into loser lines up here. I think by the looks of it, you're gonna wanna be out there. So whoever sets you up good for that. Whatever you do for that section up there, you wanna be carrying speed around this bit because it goes back uphill. So you need to be hooking by this bit. I really hope camera does this justice because like where it's really soft, you can't, so it's gonna get cut in. And like, this actually looks unreal. So many lines like just raw downhill. So they've tightened this bit off loads and you can't really tell, but this is quite off camera and you don't wanna be falling down there. So this is actually gonna be quite a techie bit of track. It's like loads of chicanes gonna be hard to make it flow almost but if you do you, you know there's time to be had here this section is looking as cool as ever it's like pretty fast but it's almost hard to like keep track of where you are in the rocks camera really doesn't do it justice but I mean that rocks pretty big it's like up to my knee We're a bit above it so They've done a good job at um, tagging the edges. That's a rim ender right there. This bit's looking a bit interesting for lines because it looks like you want to set up wide, but that is a hell of a lot rougher than the low. So maybe just the smooth line could be quicker, but it could also get a lot rougher as the uh, week goes on. So another section where they've slowed it down a little bit, putting a, whoa, a little uh, turny turn in it instead of straight down there. So, it's cool. Lomer! Oh my. Jesus. Sand pit. So sick. This section is super wide. And it comes into this gap here of like four takeoffs. But um, yeah, you could come super inside, but I think you want to sit up high for this next bit. So, Karen speeds the game. Whoa, they've tightened this bit off a lot. It used to pretty much just be like straight down. Um, so this is probably going to make it a bit more interesting, but Jesus, it's actually so dry, which is um, good because the forecast isn't looking the best, but it, I think it could be okay, to be honest. We'll have to wait and see, though. Could play a big factor. Cool little section. I think the line's going to be pretty, pretty like, um, you'd only have to move a small bit, but it'd make quite a big difference because... Carrying speed for this next bit is super important. So this turn, you want to be hitting it good. 
is where I'm talking about that like rest bit you just go along here and it's kind of uphill a bit after and you're only about a minute into the track there's a lot to take in for the first minute so um, it's pretty full on track I'd say here we are then another new section so that's the old bit across there now this looks like well that looks like a death off camber into there so looks like there's a high line maybe or the middle line not looking too bad I mean this shows the off camber a little better you can see it's pretty off camera across there then back into the old trail it's pretty cool actually tiny bit further down you got the rocks rock slab drop pretty cool it's um it's crazy seeing how big like some of the rocks in other countries are they really have rocks anywhere like we don't have any rocks where i live so pretty crazy another angle with the rock it is literally giant <laughs> working our way down still a few just like big turns and the work they've done you can really see it here wow this is gonna be a fun track another new bit by the looks of it you got the uh inside and the outside up there but see what it's all about so this new section is pretty cool there's actually three or four lines through there which um i'm not sure which will be best at the moment because of how tight it goes after it doesn't go down there so you know setting up on this corner is going to be quite useful now this section might not look like much on camera but i'm telling you this is going to be gnarly um that's the old wall there and now it looks like you're going to be gapping in but there's um underneath that dirt there's some rocks that are going to come up which can cause some problems so it's actually going to be quite an interesting section i think here's a little look from the back side and you drop back into the old track but i think it goes off it again quick from what i've seen uh, this bit's actually the same because you used to be able to gap off of here like down into there and there was no dirt it was all rocks it was like the most disgusting thing ever or there was a real tight high line but it does change there it seems to shoot off down so that's going to be different yeah it's actually quite like a little awkward section with the tough block because of how like tight the turns are looks fun though actually looks quite fun um down into here i mean this bit looks quite uh harsh and stuff you can't really see it's actually quite a big hole but no it looks good right so you come into the wall and then there's this tricky turn and it's taped super wide so i reckon there's going to be a few lines going on here for sure this is where we're at then you got um big inside but it makes that really tight you got super wide but that's loads rougher and then you got a middle line which is like a a nice in between i suppose but these uh these holes here are still pretty big especially up there so um it's gonna be hard because obviously it's quite tight and slow but looks good so this is just down from those roots they've done loads of work to this bit it's crazy to me that like grass is growing on it that's how that's like nuts but yeah there's an inside and outside here i quite like the outside at the moment but if the inside gets cut in it could be pretty good that's the old track there. Look at all the grass on it. Oh my God. So they must have like closed it so no one can ride it. Or no one wanted to ride it because look at it. Oh my God. So you come down from that fresh section into a, um, where it used to be like a stump triple thing. Now it's more man-made. Um, yeah, it's cool. Little flat section through there, get some pedals, get some pumps in. And then you come to this big old step down. It's got like a big rock. It's uh, actually pretty gnarly. Bent a few chain rings on it before. So here it is. It's a long way to the sweet spot. Probably like there. Yeah, right in line with the timing thing. So no, it's actually a long way. Looks good though. They've kept the section after nice and wide. You got the inside and the outside and they're both in so that's cool this section was never like the gnarliest or anything but it was always one of the hardest turns on the track super tight super jank so the inside's looking pretty like it always has i mean you can't really see the hole on camera but you know it tightens it up so much then the outside's always so blown out so it is a tricky section there's um plenty of lines though to be had so it's cool old track new track um slows it down a bit makes it a bit more awkward i suppose 
Don't know what it's going to do with that rock garden. We'll have to wait and see. I think it's going to make it so you just end up gapping off of that. Looks, it looks way, way smoother than last year. So this would be a huge step down over there as well. I wonder if that's still a thing. It's just, you come cooking out there and then you've got this step down to like there. There's not really much for landing. It looks, <laughs> looks sandy at the moment, but hopefully it's harder than it looks. So the old track used to go just there, but you can't even see it. It used to be, kid you not, like four feet deep for holes. That is ridiculous the amount of dirt they've put on it. That's crazy. But yeah, through here, nice little new section. It's cool. So you've got the outside, which is like you take off here and land on them. But the inside looks like it has potential this year. The only thing that's stopping it is that bus stop, because obviously rat and then uphill. Whereas this, you're going to carry a bit more speed. But um, that cuts in well, could be on. So here's the bus stop. Look at this little line right here. No, I'm just joking. Probably are going to want to hug the inside though. Like right there. So you've got this bit, they filled up loads of the holes again. So it's looking good. They've put in a tiny little bus stop kink thing there, chicane. But should be no problem to be honest. This last wall used to be absolutely disgusting because where there's now a landing, it was like flat with rocks and a drainage ditch and it was just, oh, you'd be risking a punny, I'll tell you that. It looks so good now though. See the last couple of turns, there's a few lines going through there. And you come absolutely cooking down this hill to the sender. Let's go to it now. Here it is, you jump through the sign to the sender. You usually land about where he is now which is about 20 25 meters i think um it's actually pretty crazy it doesn't look too mad on camera but i tell you it feels mad when you ride it so here's looking back up from about roughly where you'd land pretty uh pretty nuts yup rumor has it jackson loves this bit of track i've heard favorite section so you come out of the final turn over this little bridgey thing and then you got like the final step up over there i'm not gonna walk it because it's all taped off and just nothing to really look at but that is the end of the track it's gonna be so fun to ride i reckon looks mega i'm probably gonna go edit this and watch the juniors but hope you enjoyed this and hopefully see you for a track preview tomorrow